You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry go Thank you for your service to the people. Thank you for going to college and coming back home. Thank you for not forgetting where you were from. Um, thank you for being so humble. Um, thank you for answering every call that you have been that has been made to you requesting your services. Lana is a true artist. She believes in her craft. She puts her all into whatever it is she does. When you call upon her, she is quick to respond. She's always willing to help. The fox that most people see and know of is a performer side. That's the outgoing, high energy, all of that excitement, that's the fox. Lorna is a total opposite. She is quiet, extremely shy, and once you get to know her and understand that's her personality, it gives you a greater appreciation when you see her on stage performing. I met Lorna in 1983. Um, when she came for the audition and I was amazed at her voice because uh, her voice had such a great range over four octaves and um, such wonderful quality. I've taught in many places before I came to St. Thomas. I taught in New Jersey and California and New York and I'd never heard a voice as powerful, especially for a teenager because she was only about 15 at the time and in fact she became quite a household name uh, the Channel 10 because we were invited to do a um, station ID at Channel 10 in 1986. I think it was like February 1986, even before we did the recording. And that station ID played so often, like eight, nine, ten times a day on the TV. And she was the lead singer in the ID called We've Got the Touch. So that um, really put her voice and her face out to the community in 1986. And then when we did the recording, we, we um, I think it came out, yeah, in, in that May or June of 86. And we sold over $6,000 worth of, of records and was able to buy the baby grand piano for the school, which is still at the school being used. Yes, uh, Lorna has had the opportunity to perform with uh, quite a few uh, persons here, both locals and celebrities here. And, and please bear with me because I know I will miss many, but I will give you a few. Um, like, like I said, the community knows her with the Starlights Band. Um, they know her with Spectrum Band. And she has been blessed to be a guest performer for the Charlotte Killerman Gala with uh, celebrities such as Melba Moore. Um, Ashford and Simpson, where she actually had the opportunity to open for them, but also had the opportunity to sing a song with them. Uh, Lorna is so community oriented um, to the point where she does so much different things besides the professional side of doing vocal coaching. Uh, she also donates a lot of her time and talent. I'd like to thank you for being there for me, for my family, for all of us, and for this community blessing us with your beautiful voice from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you. From our sorority, we thank you, all the people in the Virgin Islands. You are truly a gift from God, and your voice is one that we would forever love and cherish.